What's up guys? We are here, Camelback Mountain. Needed to wake up and start moving. It's Monday, wanna get up after this weekend. Just get out, it's an attitude of gratitude to start off the day. This is how I like to start off every day if I could. Morning sunrise hike. You cannot help but start your day off in a good mood when you see the sun peeking through the clouds. And we're burning like intense amount of calories. When I did that 10,000 calorie challenge, this, when we did that little hike, this and lifting weights burn the most calories within that hour. So, just wanted to stop. We're going up there. We started down there. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say what everyone thinks I'm gonna say. Started at the bottom, now we're here. Sometimes, the key when doing a hike is just not to stop. Passing people down there had stopped, sat down, and they did not want to get up again. When you're on that last 10%, that's the toughest thing. The last 10% of anything in life will be the toughest. Harder than the rest of the 90% combined. Getting started and finishing by far are the two hardest things in life. And when you feel like you don't want to keep going, but just keep on making progress, even if it's nice and slow. It's I'll progress. Watch that video later, Steve. Yeah? <laughs> What's your name? Tanner. Tanner? Yep. Good to meet you, homie. Nice to meet you. How was it up there? Nice? Uh, yeah, it's exhausting getting yeah, up there. It was exhausting. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my man Rusty. What's up? You're from Houston? Both of you guys from Houston? Yes, sir. H-Town, holding it down. And Phoenix, you guys work for an airline, right? Right, yeah. right. Yeah. All right. You guys see these flying your jets or planes? No, you're safe. <sighs> that, woo! That's a ways down. So how was that hike? I mean, I did a lot of stints and then rested, stints and rested. You did. <laughs> <Good> workout. <laughs> it's humid out here, guys. I feel really, really silly. I literally live like down there right close to this and I never have came on this, which I pride myself on hiking quite a bit. Like I go to Utah and hike all the time. So needed to get up this morning and do this. Start your Monday off right with a hike. Wake up before your body knows what you're doing. Do that cardio, get it out of the way. It's a good hike. I'm proud of myself. That last that last 10%, like I said, that's always the hardest. Always the hardest in anything you do in that life in life. 10%. Most people won't finish it. Most people do not finish things. If you guys are a finisher, you're gonna be so much more successful than the average person. And you get these rewards. I think it's time to start the journey down. Why? Because if I don't make it down fast, I'm not gonna get Chick-fil-A. I want my Chick-fil-A. And Courtney's still sleeping. I need to go wake her up. She did not want to come on the hike. Comment below to my Courtney. Next time, I want to see her on the hike. Here's where things get tricky. Holding a camera and trying to get down as quickly as possible so I can make it to Chick-fil-A. All right, last steep part here. Obviously, that's why they put this railing there. I'm gonna go jump in a pool. If she made me breakfast, I can't really give her a hard time. That'd be rude. You don't want to be rude to your girlfriend, or else you end up not having a girlfriend. I'm starving now. Let's see if she's awake. Come on. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, no. No. Hi. No. Don't give me Hi. a no. smell. Oh, you are the best. Yes, sir. The best. Gosh, I feel lucky I can just go get cardio done and then come back straight to this. It was a great hike, by the way. Yeah, you looked like... Did I scare you? Tense out there. What do you mean? Did you scare me? Were you scary? Because I was on the cliff? Here, it was so scary. Hi right, guys, I want a new car. So what should I get? I either want a Raptor or a Tesla. Could those be on more opposite <laughs> ends of the spectrum? What is he going to get? Dad. 
What's the Roddy's name? Her dad, her dad has, Courtney's dad is a OG. He has a yeah. six we'll insert the picture. six month old and a two month old Rottweiler. Brian, Brian, you're gonna wanna watch this. Shout out, he's, uh, he's also hooking up the mirrors in the gym. Brian coming through, hooking up mirrors in the gym. And all the signs. And oh yeah, all the signs too. Those signs we used at FitCon, shout out Brian King. What did we get? We got some new sh shoes. Oh, these have been good for my hiking this morning. Why can't you hook me up with people's shoes? Oh, you don't even know. Like, can we get some size 13s? Like, what is this? I, guys. Attack them. When you start making hits, you have to start doing it. <laughs> you did get me these, though. I did get you those. Oh, guys, yeah. I... This is oh, true. you guys... Oh, that new shoe smell, I love that. All right, come on. These are for my girl. Come on, be for my girl. Be for my girl so she's not mad at me. Not for my girl. I got you. We're gonna all be running, rocking around with some Ultra. Um, the reason they sent me them these is because they heard I was doing a marathon, and they, or not a marathon, a triathlon, and they're hooking me up. Hooking me up. Supposedly they're coming out with some new like gym shoes. They got that wide toe box. So that's why, that's why I'm like, yo, send me as many as you can because I got fat Shrek feet. And I get that nice wide toe box. I'm gonna see how those are. I'm gonna work out in these probably tomorrow. I have hiking shoes, I got running shoes, I got workout shoes. What do we got here, Gymshark? Gymshark making their winter clothes already. Um, just to let you guys know, I am heading off to England in like two weeks to go work on my line with Gymshark, which should be releasing in March. I see you. That's I sick. like that, I like that little texture right there down the side. The little details like that. Ooh, this is this is I haven't seen Gymshark come out with a piece like this. I like this. A little detail. They're already working on their fall line because it's probably getting cold in England right now. What do we got here? What do we got here? Are these bottoms? Yo, I'm gonna be looking straight English rolling in a tracksuit down the street. Hey bruv! You just need some like Air Maxes in your set. No, not Air Maxes, Adidas. Like a Manchester jumpsuit with some Adidas? It's Air Maxes, bruv. I'm British, bruv. It, nah, dude, you wouldn't wear an Adidas jumpsuit with Nikes, and a Chelsea jumpsuit would be Adidas. Actually, Chelsea's is Chelsea's Nike right now. I just played myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you will not see me these in these. I I do like my gym shirt, but I'm not gonna be rocking long shorts. I like my shorts to be at thigh level. I like to I like my quads peeking out. Those are too long. If you guys want these, I'll send them to you. The first person I read in the comment box who wears, you, the only one you're getting is an extra large, so you gotta be prepared to wear an extra large. So if you like to play basketball and you like to wear longer shorts, hit me up. All right, that's mail time. Now I gotta get to work. All right, I was supposed to be doing some like uh, some work here. We we're gonna do a little time lapse, but I was talking to Cal. Cal, Cal is the guy behind the camera. And we were talking just about everything in this country that's going on right now. And and I think what we're coming to, just talking to him, because there's, there's always going to be people that you don't share their same opinion with, um, stereotypes that exist, Cal. racism exists. Cal's mixed race. Oh, you want me to say that? Yeah, yeah. let them know. They were having like an open discussion about Cal's it. Cal's half white, half black. So yeah. we were having a discussion. So Cal came from Zimbabwe and then to England and now to the US. So I think Cal has an interesting perspective on it because he's lived so many different places. And me just being this, you know, white American that grew up in America, you know, it's, it's one of those things that it's good to talk about these things. And I think ultimately what I keep coming back to is that here in this country right now, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of people like obviously a lot of people out there protesting Donald Trump, a lot of people pro Donald Trump, but I, what I'm seeing is what happened in Charlotte was just a freaking tragedy and it's, it, it upsets me, it enrages me because I don't want there being people out there that think that, you know, that racism, that if you're white, you're racist. And I feel like that's sometimes why it happens when, you know, there's, there's, and just like, it's a stereotype that exists. So like, you know, we were talking about, you know, different communities, different neighborhoods in, in, the, in the country and how we stereotype certain neighborhoods because they're more violent and, and why are they more violent? And I think well, what it comes down to is that you can't let someone's color, race, um, sexual orientation, male, female, you can't let that, 
you, A, you can't treat that person any different, any different. Like human beings, we're human beings. And I guess I have the stance that we're all, we're all, in my opinion, children of, of God, of Heavenly Father. And I think that it's something that when you don't show love for your fellow man, that is one of the greatest sins that you can commit is when you are treating someone different because of the way they look, because of the way they, what they do. I guess what I'm saying is, is that you can't treat people differently. We all sin in my mind. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Mexican, gay, straight, um, you know, male, female. It doesn't matter. Everyone sins equally. Everyone like, people, nobody's perfect out there. We gotta start cutting some people some breaks here. But I get super, super irritated, um, you know, when I when I turn on the TV and people are, you know, spewing hate. Hate, hate, hate. That's, that can't be the answer out there. So whatever it, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you, start checking your thoughts. How are you guys thinking about things? Are, are you, and, and you know, I, you know, people probably say, oh, Steve, do you know, you're a privileged, you're a privileged white male. And, and that might be the case, but... All I'm saying is that if hate is your answer, you're never going to be happy. You're always going to find some more reason to hate. And that doesn't matter what color or what, you know, what race, what gender you are. We got to find ways to love. And I get, there are problems, there are things you need to stand up for. Um, and I think that ultimately the only way this is going to get better is you have discussions with people around dinner tables, you have discussions educating and trying to hear people out, listening to where they're coming from. And I think that's something that's been hard for me at times to do. It's like, I think, you know, I have my own paradigm. I have my own way I see the world. That doesn't mean that's how everyone else sees it. And you have to respect that. You have to really learn to value someone else's opinion and love that person for who they are, despite any differences. Cause we're not, there, there's 7 billion people on this planet. We're all gonna be different. There's, you're gonna, you're not gonna agree on everything with with everyone out there. So just respect people, and it's it's sad. You know, I'm I'm worried for this country, but I think that, um, you know, having educated conversations with people and ex learning what other people are seeing and feeling, like Cal said, you know, people feel differently. You know, you you could say the same thing and have two different outlooks on it, but. You gotta respect and, you, and, and ultimately, I think, you know, you need to love because that's what I think we're commanded to do. But anyhow, that was a rant. Um, I gotta go through mail right now. But if you're not bothered by these things, um, you need to check your pulse because this this world, you know, it's there's some crazy things going on. And if you're not bothered by things like racism, you need to take a look at, uh, at your daily life. And I think that that's ultimately, you know, my message here. Check yourself. Thank you.